Why companies are racing to build the world's biggest bug farm. This is coming from the Washington Post. A bug farm, un uh, granja de insectos o bichos. ¿Por qué las empresas se apresuran a construir la mayor granja de insectos del mundo? Have you ever eaten a bug, Natch? No, never. On purpose? No, no. Because <laughs> apparently we all eat spiders when we're asleep. Yeah. I have. I ate a cricket at a Mexican restaurant. They, they made like special tacos with these bichos inside. It was good. It was good. But this isn't, ironically, to replace human food. Let's get into the article. In a race to create the world's largest insect farms, companies are investing heavily in high-tech facilities to produce protein from bugs like crickets, mealworms, and fly larvae, aiming to offer a more sustainable alternative to traditional animal feeds. Yeah, these farms are to replace what would be food for animals. Uh, these farms, some sprawling over tens of thousands of square meters, use advanced methods to grow insects rapidly, feeding them on food waste and using their byproducts for fertilizer and nutrient-rich oils. While not targeted for human consumption, this burgeoning industry, supported by significant veg venture capital and partnerships with agricultural giants, seeks to reduce greenhouse emissions and reliance on uh, sustainable practices in food production. Interesting, interesting stuff. So, yeah, you may not be eating bugs, but what you eat may be eating bugs. People should not be grossed out by eating insects, Natch, because mariscos are basically sea insects, right? When you look at a prawn, that doesn't look, that looks about the furthest you can get from a cow. <laughs> you know what I mean? It looks like a beach, it looks like an insect. Anyway, 